Hello, beautiful one. This is the Raw and Wild Hearts podcast. I'm your host and guide, Lori Rising, star channeler, transformational mentor, and sacred guide of lifetimes. It is my mission to reawaken the ancient encoded knowledge, the sacred wisdom, and evolutionary truths that pulsate within every one of our cells. Join me in curiosity, intuitive guidance, and inspirational conversations where I will stand on the precipice with you. We did not come to dim our lights or play small. So I say, let's get to it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode called Navigating the Void. Ooh, we have been taken on a ride. It has been uncomfortable. It has been intense. It has been a little scary at times, a little unnerving, if you will. And I really want to drop into the power of it right here and right now in today's episode. But first, hello again. Yes, this episode is coming out a little bit late. There have been life changes happening over here. There has been homesteading happening over here. There is a new foster puppy in my midst. And he was very, very sick when he showed up into the fold. And so that took a lot of my time and energy. And then right on the heels of that, I ended up having a really big family event. And with this void that's coming and going, I'm getting more and more clear on where I'm going in my soul business and really looking at my priorities. But what this means to me is I am getting more and more clear that I want to be so present to every single energy that I activate in my life. And as many of you know, when you're in your own business and especially your soul business, it can get really easy to blur those lines. When you work from home, (laughs) it can get really easy to blur those lines. When you have an online business, it can get really easy to blur those lines. And even though I have continued to get better and better at unplugging from online and not letting it kind of take over my day every day or contribute to those fears and that lack or scarcity mentality that can really get a grip on us when we are in the throes of building a masterpiece. And yeah, I'm just really sitting with being present to the build and really letting myself enjoy my life during it. Because believe me, in the beginning, I moved through a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. You know, I jumped into my soul business because I had to leave my practice physically after my car accident. And so I really added some extra pressure in there. And, you know, this total Aries solar eclipse that happened on April 8th. For me, it's in my first house. And I know I've been talking about this a lot. If you find out what house that's in, it's going to show you the environment that's really inviting you into deep foundational, energetic, and physical change. For me, it's my first house. And that's the first house of self. It's the house of identity. And I have been going through somewhat of an identity crisis, especially in the summer, because there's a part of me that really wants to get this homestead up and running. I really want to be working in the land and I want to be face to face with people doing farmers markets and nourishing people through the tinctures and the salves and the food that I grow. And also, I want to keep building my soul's mission as the transformational coach and sacred guide and channeler that helps you reawaken that ancient encoded wisdom that pulsates in your cells. So you come online to all of your innate medicine and get to live a life of liberation. So yeah, I had a moment and I talked about this on my YouTube channel 
when my sister and I were talking and she had expressed to the clinic owner who was a little worried when she took another vacation that work wasn't her priority. And it was done in such a beautiful, neutral way. There was no, I'm right, you're wrong. There was no like, oh, I'm guilty or, you know, I've got to try to take care of you. It's like, well, is this going to work? If it works, great. If it doesn't, you know, we'll move on and we'll build new. We'll find something else. We'll create another opportunity from that high frequency that we stay in when we move through these changes and evolutions in our life in a state of balance, in homeostasis, in a soft nervous system. Because then the next opportunities, paths and possibilities show up easily and we catch them with ease. And it was just such a beautiful example of everything that I know and I talk about and I teach about and I share and I live as well, though, you know, we all get that leaky energy and we're all working through this disruption of scarcity, of self-sacrifice, and it's coming up really big now. Like these are some of the final pieces, some of those final chords that have been so, so deep. (laughs) And even for me in this soul business, when I come back to the reality of it's building, it's okay, because we're always a hundred steps forward. Because we're like, if we're not there, if we're not to the place where we think it's going to be easy or we think we have enough money or we think that it's running smoothly, then we're always looking forward. We're not actually in the unfolding. And then we're not present to other avenues that could access that breakthrough energy that we're holding on to so deeply in a moment. So yeah, I just loved hearing this and I have been sitting with it a lot. It's been coming up in my field a lot. And for me, I just am giving myself more of a break, right? Like, and that break is really coming from walking my talk in a way that I thought I was already doing it, yet this eclipse is revealing that leaky energy. It's revealing the crevices that are still operating in the old earth ways. This is the fine tuning, y'all. It's so easy to bypass these areas, especially when we're amplifying the others, right? Like my morning routine is spot on, right? I'm doing my breath work. I'm doing my movement, my yoga, my sauna, (laughs) all of those things. I'm doing my meditation every morning, every night. All of those things are on, yet this was an area that I was letting myself get pulled into stress, get pulled into scarcity, and it was moving at a low level running loops in my mind, always having what else I need to get done pestering me while I'm doing anything else. And so this has been an unfolding process of the last couple of months. And this is where I'm taking us to in the void is that I'm now starting to show up fully for any activity that I'm doing. And that's where I completely let go of oh my gosh, I haven't posted today. Oh my gosh, I haven't sent the email this week. Oh my gosh, the podcast is late. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right? And then when I really sit with it, when I really open that up and said, what's the reality here? The reality is, if someone is magnetized to my medicine, if someone is interested in, in hearing the frequency that I have to share about anything in my soul business, they're going to stick around. And if their energy is leaky with me, then they might leave. And somebody else is going to come in because that creates space for someone else to come in. We are really activating the new earth way of trust, of presence, of aliveness, in our experience and of holding our highest timeline while taking inspired risk and action 
with courage and bravery. And in this new earth soul flow, the gas to this is a soft nervous system. The acceleration to this is changing the energy. It's inviting and investing in an environment that holds us in uncondition. It holds us in love. It holds us in witness. And most of all, it holds us in our pure, untapped, limitless potential because there's no stories, there's no agenda that's still holding on from tangled up energetic cords that have not been excavated and cleared. And believe me, friends, I have been presented with the biggest invitation and opportunity to practice being so wildly present. And what I realized in this opportunity and experience is that I'm really good at letting life happen as it is. But when something new gets introduced to the mix, ooh, I can go wild in the expectations, in the future, in the what ifs. And at the height of this situation, when I started doubling down in the fears, I got a message from my guides because I asked, I've been asking for a whole lot of divine interference lately because these voids have been massive. They have been huge to navigate. Let me just tell you that. And I'll be getting back to those in a second. But at the height of this, the message that came through was, let life happen. Be an eager participant as it unfolds. I mean, this is at the heart of so much of what I share and support and guide in. And yet that knee-jerk reaction of trying to control an outcome rather than experience the unfolding of life and be available for what shows up in surprises, in opportunities, in miracles, runs so deep in our blood, in our cells, in our DNA, that it is easy to jump right back into that discomfort. And we have to be so wildly present to disrupt it because we are the only ones that can do that. Nothing else will do it for us. No one else will do it for us. And us doubling down in stress hurts us in so many ways. It's our health. It's our spirit. It's our alignment. It's our joy. It's our ease. It's our relationships. All of these things are meant to be such a beautiful part of this life. And it's becoming wildly clear how that old earth way is no longer sustainable. That's the beauty of this consciousness evolution. That's the beauty of this high frequency plasmic and photonic light that is now becoming known through the collective. It's rippling out. It's waving through. And that is why we will become more and more uncomfortable in these voids. So what if the void, and what I'm talking about when I say the void is those moments where you feel completely disconnected from your soul, from your purpose, you feel that scarcity coming through deeper. It's like that invitation to practice whatever ascension you're moving towards or through is almost intolerable physically and energetically. And that really is how our body consciousness is vibrating at a higher frequency state. Our cells are the truth meter and they no longer allow us to even lie to ourselves or to sacrifice ourselves, or to stay in these imbalanced relationships and experiences that were good enough that you could bypass them for the time being. You could ignore the things that weren't so great about them. Well, that's getting blasted into the light now. So during these times where we feel lost, we feel disconnected, we feel scared because The outcome is not showing itself. Those are the moments that we're being asked to find our flow, to find our trust, 
to find our belief that nothing will be lost, that everything can be gained when we do fully unplug. Because it's when we're resisting the void and doubling down in how we've always done it, in what we know now, in everything we've invested in, I'm now realizing that us going in and out of what feels like consciousness into unconsciousness over these last couple months is asking us to make the biggest change and leap of our life. Because even in all of my communities, what I'm seeing here, and this is, goes for my life as well, is that when a big change shows up, big stress follows. So I want you to just feel back into the last two, almost three months and notice what loop has shown up for you again and again, what struggle has shown up for you again, and how are you trying to just do it the same way? And how is that not working? So this is where I feel like we're moving towards this space of radical accountability radical clarity and the portal to leaping off that precipice finally it's time now i am starting to feel the density soften in the energetic field and the collective so you might start to feel like okay the wheels are turning again i'm starting to feel more in alignment like i'm ready to go but this is that critical moment where you decide which way you're going to go. It's the critical moment where you decide that your pristine field of energy is worth it. This is where you're going to do it a new way. Now we are on our way towards the second Capricorn full moon. If you're listening to this real time, if not, you can think back to June of 2024 and remember the decision you made and the actions you took and the confidence you built and the new life that opened. Because the first Capricorn full moon really started to highlight something in your life that has had power over you, a system or structure that you've been swimming in that's no longer working. And we moved through the Cancer new moon. So this is all about the heart and it is about protection as well, but we've got to look at what does protection mean. And when we protect ourselves by not sharing our full intimacy, vulnerability, and authenticity, that is self-sacrifice. So this is where we start to move our dial to those energetic matches and frequencies in our life that can hold all of our potential, all of our greatness, and all of our power. And how do we take action in our lives to meet spirit there where it's waiting for us? You know, I'm just getting this right now. It's interesting because as my mastermind group began a month ago, we started with crystal allies and we've been working with them throughout this time and we will throughout the rest of the mastermind. And mine was Rose Quartz. And I knew that Rose Quartz showed up for me to help crack my heart open in a new way, to love in a very vulnerable way, right? Very different than like my parents' love or my friends' love or things like that. And that's about when <laughs> this journey started into journey coming into my life which is this foster pup who's been with me for a couple, over a couple of weeks now. And it's been this huge unfolding experience, raw and guttural for me. And that's where the message came in of let life happen. Because I know I've gotten messages of what will come from there. And I have a feeling that this is the portal to the path to a great soul love, a great partner love, and no less. And not only that, but you know, I'm, I'm sitting here with this right now and I'm noticing that in my friendships, when I get to spend 
one-on-one time with my friends, I am in pure bliss. I am in pure joy. And I am so clear on how powerful every moment is that I get to spend with these people that I love. And that's why, bringing it back to the beginning, it comes full circle to what my sister said, is that, you know, work is not my priority, but I get to have soul medicine, and that gets to enhance my life, and it gets to be this beautiful and impactful, aligned way of working in my life. Yet, there's so much more that comes from being fully present to all the different energies in my life and from trusting myself, trusting myself that I am going to continue to show up, especially because I unplug. I'm going to show up in a new way. Instead of just staying with the routine that I had built around my soul's alignment. Something else that I want to share right now as we continue to traverse these big ups and downs, ebbs and flows of these voids, as we, it's kind of like we're sifting our spirit and our soul until we get to that raw truth and we live it, we embody it, right? This is really getting to the root of how we show up fully in our lives with a foundation of evolution. And that's what I want to share is that when we can really trust change, and growth and our innate guidance system to lead us to beautiful paths that we never would have thought of on our own. We never would have come up with from the fear of what's leaving. This is where true abundance consciousness lies. When you deeply cellularly believe that there's more, you stop gripping onto what was. And in that state of flow, what was can even become much bigger than you've ever known it to be. I've had some really beautiful breakthroughs happening in my communities, in my mastermind and the membership. And there's something that I want to share with you that came from something that happened, a miracle that happened in the membership community a couple days ago. And we are all just celebrating and we're sitting in the joy and the excitement of this coming to be in one of the members' lives. It's a surprise. It's exciting. It's like ancestral. It's something so huge for her. And this happened after she had just been in a very difficult place of void, probably not even a month ago. And as soon as she started showing up into the membership, things started unraveling for her in new ways and that led her into this path that has opened something up again in her life that she thought was already closed and this time the miracle appeared and this is what I responded to her yesterday I think it was when she shared such a magical video really letting everybody in on this excitement and this gift that came into her life after it had been a no over and over again. This is what I wrote. We are creators. Miracles happen. Never give up on your highest timeline. There's always a way to access it. Maybe not on our time, on divine time. Maybe not in our control, in our ability to receive. Everyone comes into your life with a message. Nature is so intricate and dynamic, we cannot even fathom how everything is working together to unfold something incredible. And when you can sit in the awe and the inspiration of that, that's the access point to trusting life, trusting ourselves and trusting others in their journey. This is where we can come and go we can evolve and we can be a part of the frequency that weaves a beautiful web throughout this field and we can stop gripping on to what we think we need in order to stay safe and we can start to open the energy up to what has been divinely placed in our path 
so loves whatever loop is coming up for you, whatever struggle is coming up for you, how do you do it in a new way? How do you invite the support that will lead you there? How do you get curious about the easy and maybe uncomfortable reaction that's happening yet again? How do you do the thing that feels so unbelievably scary to you right now? Because I'm almost sure that that fear is just the resistance getting stronger and stronger because the invitation is getting louder and louder. This time, we do it different. This time, we disrupt the pattern. This time, we heal the lineage. This time, we reclaim our magic. We do this through the portals of remembrance of who we are as the healer, the wise one, the light leader. We are being guided back to the elixir of our home, our nature, the earth, of our intentional and deliberate investment and magnetization of community and soul family in spaces of abundance, of healthy transformation, reflection, unwavering belief, and unconditional witness and love. And if you are ready to do that right here and right now, if you're ready to jump off the precipice with a sacred circle of beautiful souls that will be doing it right along with you, if you're ready to quantum leap this and no longer be held back, be dimmed or suppressed by this thing, this energy that has such a grip on you, join us at the next active retreat. It's coming up August 9th to the 13th. It's happening in my magical ancestral homeland of Iowa. There's one accommodation left. How do your cells feel right now? Are they getting excited? Do you know that it's possible? This could be it. This could be the liberation in your soul-led life of your divine blueprint. What kind of investment is that worth? Because y'all, we have divine support like we've never had before. We are the light blasters and activators. We get to do this different. And we also get to decide how fast it goes and how quickly it becomes the dominant energy of the collective. Do you want this for your children? Because when you say yes and you do the healing work, you move to your next octave, you activate and embody the ascension in your life, they heal immediately, automatically. They heal through the energy. You do not have to use your words. This is the work of mastery. And I am sure that you have been feeling a lot of this discomfort in the last couple of months. This retreat is divinely timed. I was led to create it even when I didn't think I had the physical time. There's unbelievable magic that's going to be going down over this weekend. I am so honored for the women that have been called to the circle and have already shared their sacred yes. The ones that I know have been moving through these bumpy voids and I know that they're going to show up fully in the belief of what's possible that they have not experienced yet. This land activates me like I've never been activated before. And y'all, I have offered retreats in Mexico, in Costa Rica, in Hawaii. And there is something so primal and ancestral and wild in this land. There's a magic that pulsates through all of the animal resident heart medicine. And I have been connected with the most aligned woman-owned catering company possible. She is pouring so much love into the nourishment that comes from the earth that is going to fuel our souls as we do 
the work of the priestess, the work of the divine feminine, the work of the goddess, the work of the sacred consciousness. It's wild foraged farm to table food cooked over an open fire. There's 15 private acres. There are stars galore. There is absolute magic. This is going to be so intentional. This is going to be so purposeful at a time when we need the support more than ever, because this time we do it different. This time we activate the new earth way of living. This time we make the decisions we declare no more bypassing, no more ignoring, no more self-sacrificing. And how do I know that this is possible? Because I have witnessed it over and over and over in my mentorships, in my masterminds, in my retreats, in my communities. If your cells are turning on, if you're getting that nervous excitement, I am ready to hear your sacred yes. I wholeheartedly welcome you into this sacred circle and this time out of time that will ripple into the consciousness of this collective that will shift the planetary grid and field in its power. Send me a message. Check out the links below. You can see more details about this exquisite and unique opportunity. P.S. By the way, this is the lowest price a high proximity retreat with me has ever been. It's also an experience that has the lowest amount of participants. So there will be individual channeling sessions, which I never have done before at a retreat. You do not want to miss this. <laughs> All right. So hit me up in the DMs on Instagram at the Raw and Wild Hearts. Send me an email at Lori at the Raw and Wild Hearts. And if you have enjoyed this episode, if it has spoken to you and activated something deep in your soul or even felt a beautiful support in what you've been navigating over the last couple of months, please share it with a friend, share it with your community, take a screenshot, tag me on IG or Facebook, and please hit that subscribe button on whatever podcast platform you're listening to. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, give me a comment, help me help us make our default a soft nervous system, intuitive guidance, receiving in ease, and taking aligned action from there. Y'all, it is our birthright to enjoy this life and get to live a life of alignment in our divine soul blueprint and our deepest passion and calling. We create that environment by being that environment. Booyah. And one other way to keep helping this soul mission grow and the frequency of the collective change is to share a star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. So head on over. It only takes a few minutes. It's just like sending a text message. Just scroll to the bottom of the main show page and you'll see it all right there. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for showing up time and again through the voids, through the challenges, through the triggers, through the loops. We disrupt now. I love you so much. And until next time, don't forget to keep looking up.